Are you curious about trying out a cheap Chinese turbo replacement? Check out this video. Hi there guys, welcome to another Ross Perry Productions video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a close look at a cheap Chinese rotating assembly for a turbocharger. So this is just the central part of the turbo. And I was actually halfway through making the video on how to diagnose, remove, and replace the turbocharger on this 2015 Jeep Renegade, when I actually purchased the part and I found it really hard to find any information or reviews on it. So I thought, why not make one? Now, yes, it is a cheap Chinese part, but I'm actually quite impressed. I've already opened this up once, quite impressed with the quality of the part. Um, so bearing in mind, this is the most important part of a turbo. So it sits right in the middle of the hot and cold side housings, and it sits right in the middle, and it has the, the balance shaft going through there with the two um, turbines either side. And then there's obviously a bearing in the middle, which is cooled by the, uh, the car's coolant system, and also it's lubricated by the car's engine oil system as well. So like I say, most important part of the turbo, really the other sides of the turbo like this is the cold air side. Uh, so this is just the cold side of the turbo where air passes through and the turbine sits just in there. This is really just a housing, so this very rarely goes wrong on a car. Uh, same with the hot side, the actual housing, unless the welds break down on the manifold, very rarely go wrong. So that leads you to the central part of the turbo. Now if you go to most parts suppliers, they just want to sell you the whole turbo, and of course they sell you an OEM one, which for this car is a Garrett turbo, and uh, they was quoting me, and this is in Australian dollars, it was quoting me about $1,300 for that part. Now I managed to find the exact replica, but a Chinese uh, pattern part, and this cost me $120 delivered from China to Australia. So you're saving a lot of money. And there's a few reasons why you might wanna do this. Maybe one, you're only looking at the car to last you a year, maybe two years. Now this does come with a 12 month warranty. Uh, two, you might just be feeling the pinch of the current um, cost of living at the moment. Um, or three, you might be like me and you're willing to, to sort of rock the apple cart and, and try something new. So that's what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do in this video, I'll show you what the car sounded like before. Um, I'm actually gonna open up the box and show you around the parts. We'll compare it to the old one that sat right here. Um, and then we'll sort of, I'll do a video of it on the car with the engine running so you can hear the difference. And then I actually won't release this video for about three months. And the reason being is I'm gonna be driving this car every day for that three month period. And I think it's good and it's good for you guys to give a full review of that part throughout a duration of time. And I'll typically, three months, I'll probably be doing anywhere between five and 6,000 kilometers. So that's the sort of test period we'll give on this part. So what I'll do is I'll get the camera coming closer and we'll just take a good look what comes in the box. Before we take a look at all this, I'm just gonna show you what the car sounded like running before I took it apart. As you could hear, that was not a healthy engine and I'll show you exactly what went wrong. So this is the old rotating assembly off of the car. And when I actually removed it, the main thing that I found was this nut was actually loose on the cold side. So that's led to a load of shaft play and I thought that was actually the reason, but it wasn't. When I pulled off this side from the hot side of the uh, turbo, the turbine, and this washer here just fell straight onto the floor. So there's two reasons for this. One is the oil is completely congealed inside the unit. So I don't know what happened, whether it was the oil congealed, stopped lubricating and then this broke, or this broke, got really hot and congealed the oil. But either way, that is completely shot. It's not even worth rebuilding. So the other thing that I found was this is the oil feed pipe and it, the oil was congealed all the way from the end down to about here. And it's taken me a long time to clear that pipe out and make sure it's absolutely spotless, ready to go back on the car. So with that in mind, we're just gonna open up the new product here. And like I say, I have had this open before and I repackaged it exactly as it come to me. So it's really good in what they give you. So in this little bag here, this is the test results when I actually test and commission the unit. And this is the printout for this one here and they tested it up to 200,000 RPM. The other thing that comes in this packet is actually a rubber seal there 
and there's also a gasket as well and that gasket is for the oil drain pipe just comes with another couple of leaflets there that's the instruction manual and then it's really well packaged like i say this come all the way over from china so it's really well packaged i'll just pop that onto the floor get that out of the way and then we'll actually take this one out of the packaging comes with a, a load of sort of silicon grease on it as well just to stop it rusting but you can see it's exactly spot on and we can line up the grooves there as well now you'll notice there's a little couple of nicks out of this one there and there's also one there and that's when they actually balance that shaft so there's no shaft play and it's really smooth now the other thing you might notice is the size of the hot side turbine is absolutely huge and that's what size that was before this this damage happened and you can see how much the cars actually chewed that away and that's that noise you heard in the video so looking around the rest of it now i've measured this through and through just making sure it's all the same and the casting is absolutely spot on all of the sizes thicknesses and everything is absolutely amazing um, really impressed with this product and even when you offer it up to the cold side here so this is where you put that rubber gasket so the rubber one that comes in there just goes around there like you can see there's a, a black one on this side and then you line that up and it's absolutely spot on so what i'm going to go and do is i'm going to reassemble this put it back on the car but the next scene you're going to see is this actually running on the car and then i'll go away like i say for three months and i won't actually release this video and then we'll do a bit of a wrap up and my thoughts about going for a cheap Chinese replacement. There you go, so you just continue with these five all the way around. And that's what it would look like before it goes on. Now obviously I'm not going to do this up because I haven't put the rubber gasket on, but as you can see it is a perfect fit. And you can look inside there and you should be able to see that nice new turbine as well. And you can spin it freely and it's not touching any of the housing. Okay, so the next scene, you're now going to hear the engine running. So here we go. Here is the Jeep Renegade about three months after we rebuilt the turbo. Now I did just take a look and I've actually covered just over 6,000 kilometers on the car since doing the work. And I must say it's running really, really well and I've not had any other problems with the car in that time as well. So like I mentioned previously and in the previous video as well, I did go ahead and do another oil change on this car after about a thousand kilometers once I'd done the work. And that was really just to make sure that any of that nasty congealed oil was get out of the engine, make sure that the uh, new filter went on there as well, just to make sure if there was any small iron filings or anything like that from the turbo, it would have captured those. Now I didn't see any evidence of that. That was purely me doing a bit of a test there. So the car's running really well. I'd say the miles per gallon or liters per hundred kilometers, depending on where you are in the world, is exactly as it should be for this car. And it's, it's performing as it should. It's not certainly not turned into a race car. It's kept the performance about the same as it was before. Now a couple of people have asked me would I recommend d doing just the rotating assembly rather than a complete turbo replacement including the uh, hot and cold side if money wasn't an option. I would say no if money wasn't an option I would recommend you go ahead and get the OEM Garrett part and you replace the whole set but like I say that would have been about two thousand dollars on this car and doing what I done to the car it was about two hundred dollars so of course if you are on a budget then I would recommend this is probably the best pathway forward for you and you could always save up the money and then replace the whole turbo at a later date it's completely up to you now this part did come with a 12 month warranty as well so that's a bit of peace of mind for that first 12 months but i'd expect that part to last way way longer so does this part get my thumbs up it does 100 percent. it was 10 percent of the cost of a full replacement and i don't think i could be any happy uh, any happier with how the cars run so i'm just going to quickly show you how the engine sounds now and you can actually hear quite a lot of turbo noise which is quite nice um, and then I'll just flick back to what it sounded like before just uh, to remind you guys of how it sounded and then we'll wrap up this video.
And now to hear how it sounded before. So as you will have heard, it sounds the same as the day that I rebuilt it, which is great news. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please do give me the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel.